Welcome to the homework for lesson four. This is module four of grade three. Write your name first here, please. Ella placed square centimeter tiles on the rectangle below, then labeled the side lengths. What is the area of her rectangle? You could just count it. One, two, three, four. You can see it's two rows of four. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Now these are square centimeter tiles, so we have to call them square centimeters. Square cm. Kyle uses square centimeter tiles to find the side lengths of the rectangle below. Label each side length. Then count the tiles to find the total area. So this is one, two, three, four, four centimeters. And this is one, two, three, four, five, five centimeters. And since this is a rectangle, we know that this has to, if this, if the right side is four centimeters, the left also has to be four centimeters. And if the bottom is five, the top has to be five centimeters. So now the area is going to be in square centimeters. And four rows of five, you know, like here, this is a ten, right? Two rows of five makes a ten. And we've got two sets of those, so that's 20. 20 square centimeters. There, I left that there. Mara uses square inch tiles to find the side lengths of the rectangle below. Label each side length and then find the total area. So that has to be one, two. These are inches, right? So the, this is two inches. So this side has to be two inches. And this bottom is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven inches. And the top also has to be seven inches because it's a rectangle. Opposite sides have to be equal. Uh, it's a parallelogram, so opposite sides have to be equal. Total area is two rows of seven. It's two sevens. It's 14. You can count them. 14, but the unit, you can notice this This isn't, cent, these aren't centimeters. They're not square centimeters. These are square inches, right? Because these are inch tiles, square inch tiles. So it's S Q I N. Each square unit below is one square inch. So each, that's a square unit. That's a square inch. Claire says that the side length of the rectangle below is three inches. Tyler says the side length is five inches. Who is correct? Explain how you know. So I'm seeing one, two, three. This side is three inches. And that means the other side also has to be three inches. And then one, two, three, four, five. There's our five inches. And the top is five inches. Now, a lot of times um, you might think of sides as being left and right as side lengths. And you don't think of the top and the bottom as sides, but think how many sides does a rectangle have? It has four sides, so the top and the bottom count as sides. That's what a lot of times, that's what sometimes third graders don't think of in the beginning. So uh, we'll say both are correct. Because oh, I'm not going to have room here, so the rectangle has
sides of three and three inches and five inches. And the explanation of how we know is in the labeling of the sides. Resize this a little bit. Label the unknown side lengths for the rectangle below and then find the area. Okay, so explain how you use the lengths provided to find the unknown lengths and area. So if this is the side is two inches, this is opposite sides of a rectangle. Uh, so if the left side is two inches, then the right side must also be two inches. And if the top is four inches, the bottom has to be four inches. And the total area has to be, it's two rows of four, so it has to be eight. But it's eight square inches. Because we count squares when we count area. And to explain how we use them, I'm just going to write two times four equals eight. And we could also write 4 plus 4. Either way, either one of those would work. And if you really want to, you can draw a grid that looks like that. Although my horizontal line looks terrible. It's a little bit better. And then we can show just the squares that you count. 